diabetes is often associated with sugar. So people think about diabetes and they think people have eaten too much sugar, where it's true that diet does play an important role, but it's just one of the many factors. And there's also two types of diabetes, type 1 diabetes, which the causes are still unknown, and type 2 diabetes that's linked to, to lifestyles. So I'd say that mis misunderstanding of the, what diabetes is is present throughout the world, not only in rich or poor countries, but everywhere. And then looking at healthcare workers, I'd say my colleagues in Switzerland or in developed countries ask me, David, why are you working in diabetes in developing countries? And they think of it as a di disease of the rich, which it's unfortunately no longer the case. If you look at developing countries, I would say that you have specialists who are trained in Europe, in the United States, but their knowledge isn't adapted to the local situation. They, their knowledge is taking what's available in Europe and trying to implement it in situations where the resources aren't the same. And then you have healthcare workers who have never seen someone with diabetes and who don't understand the disease and don't know how to treat it. And I think what's important to realize is whether you're in Geneva or in Bamako, the challenges of diabetes are, are both very large in that diabetes is not just giving people pills, it's lifestyle, it's diet, it's physical activity, um, and, and that makes it a complex disease. The advantage of being in Geneva, having diabetes in Geneva is that you're in a health system that has resources, that has insurance, and you, or you have the financial means to, to pay for diabetes care, whereas that's not the case in, in Mali. If you address prevention, you're addressing the way we live, the societies we live in, the foods we have access to. If you're addressing care, you're addressing, we will all need health care at one point in time. Um, and you can't dissociate the two. Um, prevention can only work so much, and people will need care. Um, NCDs with aging populations, people will develop NCDs, and therefore care will be necessary. Even if your prevention measures are 100% effective, people will still develop diseases. And you have to have both of them working hand in hand, because the benefits are, are for both pop the general population and then at-risk populations, and then people with diseases.